So you see, a collaboration isn't always about artists coming together to write a song. A collaboration can also bring together different genres of music. I remember being in Boston waiting in, with anticipation to collaborate on my record with Snoop Dogg. Two unlikely people to write a song together, right? But when we finally met up, the demo for my record, Live It Up, was blasting on the speakers and the room was filled with his posse. Oh, and also a lot of smoke. I was actually getting queasy just being in the room. <laughs> well, we sat together and threw a bunch of ideas around based on the meaning behind the record. He wanted to connect to it so he could put his spin on it. And voila, an amalgamation of rap and electronic dance music. So speaking of an unlikely pairing, Back in 1986, this mega smash hit, um, Walk This Way, ended up being a brilliant idea, merging together the sounds of hard rock and hip hop. This collaboration of Run DMC and Aerosmith resurrected the rock band's original track by adding a whole new flavor, and it rocketed to the top globally, actually, a whole decade after the original release. I'm going to follow that up with two records that, through collaborations, also revitalized the careers of both Tom Jones and Dusty Springfield. It's The Art of Noise and Tom Jones's on Prince's song, Kiss, and Dusty Springfield's partnership with the Pet Shop Boys, which put her back on the map in the 80s with What Have I Done to Deserve This?